Hello guys, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year to all of you, my listeners. I really, really miss you guys, seriously. I wish you all well and I'm very thankful for everyone, that everyone is in 2022 and everyone is getting the vibe and so blessed and all that. So, as always, this will be our first episode on Melon Sugar for 2022. And I'm so happy. And as like always, continue. Click the like button, follow, subscribe. So you don't miss any of our serious content as we upload. So, on today's episode, I'd I like to discuss feeling. We all have like that kind of feeling. Like we love someone, we cherish someone, someone is all for us, everything. But have you thought of or got to know how maybe your feeling was originally used? Or is it something physical, sensation, or maybe a touch that you really, really want? So, this is Melon Sugar Podcast, and this is Get Us. Take your time and listen. So, feeling, someone would say, what a feeling. Feeling was originally used to describe the physical sensation of touch through either experience or perception. The word is also used to describe other experiences such as a feeling of warmth and of sensation in general. In psychology, the term feeling is closely related to emotion and usually refers to the conscious subjective experiment of someone's touch or feel so feelings are known as a state of consciousness such as the result from the emotion sentiment or design and are only felt and are abstract in nature they cannot be touched so i think everyone have that kind of feeling sometimes you feel so absurd you feel so loved but you you just can't feel it you just can't touch it it's just something that's so there that you feel but you just can't see you just can't touch it and sometimes you get so goosebumps and all that and all that it just feels like coming back to you and all that and it's really really nice to have that kind of feeling So that's all with your feelings and our feeling. And I think everyone has a feeling. So a listener sent me a text yesterday asking if love is an emotion or a feeling. So for me, I would say more of a love is an emotion that includes many other emotions and feelings, such as gratitude, interest, joy, oh, and more. Love is an extremely strong feeling of affection, and it is the feeling that makes people feel good, happy, and it makes life as beautiful as it is. So, if you have love in you, it reciprocates whatever feeling that you have for someone, and loving, loving a thing or anything can give you that good, that good vibe and all that energy, and it helps you get that emotion and that emotion translates into feelings yeah so what is the order of feeling and emotion the order of feeling and emotion is random so each positive feeling word gives you a good feeling so in this way you increase your knowledge about the meaning of the like of what the positive thing that you, you want out of your feeling so I think for me you shouldn't have any grudges or just be yourself and the feeling that I think everyone has depends because if you are a psychopath you might have a feeling to kill you might have a feeling to do stupid things but if you're a loving person you might have a feeling to like feel about something so in indiv- so like feelings about feelings, individuals and in society predict something that will give them a certain desired outcome or feeling. So indulging in what one might have thought would have made them happy or excited might cause a temporary thrill or it might result in a positive of what was expected and wanted. Events and experiences are done and relieved to satisfy one's feelings. So 
what it states is even if you have uh, you are feeling something it's only a minimal result so like maybe in the next hour time you might not feel whatever you want to feel yeah and feeling can lead to harm so i think this is the last point that i want to discuss on this episode self-harm so most of us are friends their feelings can lead to harm so when an individual so when an individual or a person is dealing with an overwhelming amount of stress and problem in their lives it can lead to self-harm so it's just like the um, the stress thing so if you are like indulging in overwhelming or stress and all that it can lead to self-harm and feeling is one proof of it when one is in a good stage of feeling they never want it to end conversely when someone is in a bad state they want that feeling to disappear inflicting harm or pain to oneself is sometimes the easiest for many individuals because they want something to keep their mind off the real problem this individual some some of them might cut stab stab themselves in an effort to feel something other than what they currently feel as they believe the pain to be not as bad as the actual problem distraction is only the reason why many individuals choose to inflict self-harm some people inflict self-harm to punish themselves for a feeling yeah that feeling in a certain way so i hope you get what i'm trying to express in this episode today about feelings and everything and i think for 2022 that's how we'll go with the episode and all that we have like a talk and an article and a talk kind of thing so i just wrote an article of this and i hope you guys love it and i think you guys will listen to it so you can share everything you can share your everything that you want to tell me about this episode through my gmail in the description below and through twitter at melon underscore pod anywhere facebook melon sugar you can check out our page there and anywhere i'd like to thank you guys i'd like to thank you guys for subscribing and following and playing and streaming seriously the numbers are so massive i like to thank you all see you next time for another episode bye